All hail the magic eyeball tree! Ah. Hey everybody, Hardly Bardly here. Today we are back to planet crawling. So we're back on Dashy here and I am going to show you uh, one of the weirdest planets in the entire fracking universe mod and that is the Atropus planet. And I will go ahead and tell you right now these are planets that you do not normally want to be on unless you have really really high power gear on or you just flat out turn the admin sheets on because there's some weird stuff that goes on. Um, I don't know if we're going to run into it today because you don't run into it on every Atropus planet but there is a status effect called insanity that causes some it causes your character to basically hear voices and some of them get a little bit i would like to say offensive because they're like oh you should play with this and all these other things that are basically trying to get you to kill yourself <laughs> so they get, they get really weird, and hopefully we can run into that status effect today, but if we don't, I'll show that to you in a future video. What I can tell you is that this is one of the planets that does have a maddening atmosphere, so if you stay on there long enough, it will drain your energy and it will cause you to go insane sometimes and start hearing the little voices, but it doesn't always do that. Sometimes it just kills you off eventually. Um, these are a good source of quietus ore and blood diamonds, which are used for some very high-powered swords uh, that are usually fire element. So that's a good way to find these. Also, they have some just really, really weird backgrounds and everything, and I'll go ahead and skip to that here in a moment. Anyway, this one has Atropus as planet type, Atropus biome, Atropus sail field, and Atropus wart fields. And as for the weather, look at this. We've got bio rain, blood rain, gravity rain, all kinds of different poison gases, light gravity rain, and small meteorites. And it looks like there's glitches and something else there. But see, we've got quietus and sobrium, effigium, which is also a very, very rare ore, and blood diamonds triangulum. So very, very high tier ores. So obviously you're only going to find these around high tier stars, such as red stars. And these are abhorrent, hellish spheres composed of matter both living and dead. And it says, warning, insanity causing agents detected. Fauna threats, dangerous, and climate threat is immediate. So uh, enough on talking about it. We're going to go ahead and head on down here. And... Let's see, you know what, Chef, since you're following me, let's go ahead. You can come down here with me. Because if we're going insane, I'm taking you with me. So, first thing we notice is that it is nighttime for some reason. Why is it always I'm having to do this? Okay, so... And I've tried this with admin sheets on, without admin sheets on, and sometimes you still won't go insane. So, let's see... First things first, what do we got here? Orange gravity liquid, and then grav liquid. And, let's see what else here. Flesh chunks, pile of eyes. All kinds of little things. You're cute, you're coming with me. Oops, nope, you need to stay. Oh, I guess you can't come with me, I guess I have too many creatures as it is. But just look at these background guys. Yeah, if you couldn't tell before, this is very much inspired by the Ruin boss. So, yeah, there's eyes in the background, and flesh chunks, brains, bones, basically everything out of a Lovecraftian novel you'd think of. And we'll just go over this way a little bit. And looks like we're running into like a little bunker of some sort, a little crash-landed um, spaceship. And the cool thing about this is, is that you can get these things called flesh strands from these things. And you can get a pile of eyes, too. We are buried in a pile of eyes right now, actually. 
and just all kinds of weird stuff. You can actually use some of these for recipes, no joke. Flesh pile. Oh, those things cause insanity. Yes. Give me the insanity. Give me the insanity. Yes. I want to hear the voices. No, come back. I want to hear the voices. Do I have to turn off admin sheets? Fine. I will turn off the admin sheets. Just make me insane. Make me insane. Come on. I want to hear the voices. I want to hear the voices. They're not wanting to give me the voices. That makes me sad. Fine. We'll go somewhere else where I'm more appreciated. Some other enemy will give me the voices. I'm sure. But first of all, I'm probably gonna have to turn admin sheets back on so I don't die. So, as we're going through here, you're gonna notice there's just bunches upon bunches of just weird, weird looking stuff. And yes, I'm running off and leaving the shelf. And look, that thing's got eyeballs down there. It's just, there's eyes everywhere. The hills have eyes, have nothing on this planet. The whole planet has eyes and hands, apparently. And little tiny larvae larva that have little red eyes. Those are cute. Alright, so this is the basic uh, overview of one Atropus world, and we're going to pop to another one to take a look at it real quick. And then eventually we'll actually tunnel under the surface and take a look underground where it gets even freakier. And now, I'll turn this up a little bit. There's actually like a heartbeat sort that's going in the background. Can you guys hear that? Ain't that freaky? Okay, I'm gonna turn that down a little bit so it doesn't like blow my eardrums out. Just, wow. Some of the bosses here. Just look how freaky that guy is. Nee. Does not like us very much, apparently. So, I'm trying to get back to the surface. And we're getting covered in brains and apparently kelp. We got some more eyeball trees up here. We got some grav liquid here and there. And now we have, what is this? Blood crystal, red honeycomb block. Bloodstone. Some very angry bees, because I'm taking their home. And since we're underground, let's just go ahead and take a look down here. Let's see, I don't think this is bright enough. Can we make it brighter? Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, so... It looks like we've got some immunity effects on, so we might not wind up getting that insanity trait after all. But I'd rather show you guys what this looks like and come back and show you the insanity thing later. But yeah, just look around down here. This this looks like... Oh goodness, it looks like the eclipse scene from Berserk. It really does. I'm... I'm getting down here and I'm expecting like an Argonian version of Griffith to show up. Just, oh my goodness, I, I am having so many Berserk flashbacks right now, it's not even funny. And bouncing around. Boing, boing, boing. We have slime everywhere. And rotting flesh, apparently. And pus. Entire little sea of pus here. You can also uh, usually find pools of blood on these worlds too. Sometimes underground, sometimes above ground, and <laughs> the funniest thing about this is the core of this planet in particular is just a sea of pus. It's a sea of pus instead of lava or nitrogen liquid nitrogen, it is just a sea of pus, and we have bones hanging from the ceiling like something out of freaking Mortal Kombat. So, now that that's all said and done, 
I just had to show you guys that. This is actually one of the coolest planets on the fracking universe mod, and it's one of my favorites. I would not suggest colonizing here, though, but you can take as many resources as you can from it, and you can actually get some fairly cool NPCs um, for your colony if you have stuff that's made out of, like, the flesh chunks and everything. And I'll show you that in a future video. In the meantime, thank you all for tuning in today. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you can catch the next video as soon as it comes out. And please share it with all your friends. Alright, this is Harley Barley, signing out.